The last two Apes movies grossed over 175 million, and finally, War for the Planet of the Apes is out in theaters. I want to talk to the fans and the filmmakers to see if they love these movies as much as I do. What was the makeup budget for the first Planet of the Apes movie? $110,000. 76 million? With a B? Yeah. Ooh, I like how you roll it. I'd say 15,000. Let's see if Steve Zahn and Amaya Miller know the answer. 500,000. That's what I was just about to say. 500,000. Your now, sisters. Now, take that number and double it. Really? It was a million dollars? A million? When was the very first Planet of the Apes movie released? 1980. Eight? 1967? I would say 1987. Okay, let's see what Andy Serkis has to say. 1968. When they were shooting War for the Planet of the Apes, they had a code name for the movie. What do you think it could have been? Distant memory. Oh, God, that's like poetic. Monkey King. Captain Bears. Matt Reeves has the answer. The Hidden Fortress. I gave it the Hidden Fortress title. Why? When we were in the woods, the idea is that Caesar has been leading this war successfully for two years from a hidden command base. And uh, we started looking at a lot of references and different movies, and one of the movies we looked at was the Hidden Fortress, the Kurosawa movie, and they were hiding um, the princess behind a waterfall. And I was like, that's really cool. And then, of course, I remembered that Hidden Fortress was also uh, one of the stories that George Lucas was drawing from for Star Wars. <laughs>I feel sorry for the apes, I guess. Yeah. Humans are pretty messed up. Right, humans are the worst yeah. in these movies. I mean, if you think about it, we kind of just like cage up animals, we slaughter them, we abuse them, and like without repercussions. So I guess you could kind of flip the viewpoint and see it from like the animal's perspective. So that's right. kind of interesting. Apes together strong. Do you think the recent Planet of the Apes movies are fresh or rotten? I think they're fresh. Tell me why. It's like it's a whole new movie for a whole new generation. Right. I understand if, if the old fans were like, yeah, computer generated versus practical makeup, but I don't know. I think they did a really good job with the new stuff. I tend to prefer the old movies right. because they look so real. So does the CG bother you at all? Because those, those are there are no monkeys well, in the making of this movie. They've done a good job of it in recent years. I remember there was a gap there for a while where if you watched like like a Blu-ray on a new TV, but it was a production that was from like three years before. Right. It looked really horrible. So bad. So bad. <laughs> yeah, but I think they've, they've got it under control now.